fact, wouldn't be surprised if he runs soon. <laughs> I love that they fall down. Up oh, there he goes. Okay, later, buddy. Is this the one? I think so. Yeah. Oh, did it cut out? Oh, yeah, it would have been right at that time. Sorry. I didn't realize I had already been streaming for more than four hours. All the Prime games are magical. Retro did an amazing job with them. Oh, yeah. They they are fantastic. I'm, I'm excited to uh, play Prime 3 because I've never actually beaten that. I, I think I got kind of maybe halfway through it, but I don't remember it at all. Oh, weird. Yeah, it, it like... It didn't actually hiccup on my end. Oh, that's so weird. Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah, the stream hiccup is such a weird issue that who knows if Comcast will ever help me fix it. I could dream big, though. Prime 3 is good, but plays a little differently. Yeah, I, I mean, I... I was definitely weirded out by the fact that you're also just, like, talking to other characters, which immediately was just like, whoa, this doesn't feel like Prime. But, uh... I, I am excited to use the motion controls again, though. Because I thought about doing that for Prime 1 and 2, since they did re-release all these games on the Wii. And I was like, nah, I'd rather play these on their, like, original form. And I already own them anyway, too. Because they feel good on GameCube. MP3 had some good ideas, but I didn't enjoy it as much as 1 and 2. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of how I felt too, which is, I think, partly why I didn't finish it. Which is kind of a shame. 100 development wasn't enough. We needed more rundas. Fair. Oh, here we go. It's like, wait, should something be happening? Goku, take my energy! Hey! Malkarai, thank you so much for the sub! <laughs> ah, so you were last playing Dead by Daylight. Malkarai was last seen... Saving the timeline of Dead by Daylight. Thank you so much for that resub, Malkarai. It means a lot to me that that you enjoy the stream enough to want to support it like that. Some crazy, crazy alien technology. So there's only one left, which means there's only one, like, mid-game boss. Sort of toying with DBD, not going to stream it anymore, sticking with retro games. Ayy. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I need to play Dead by Daylight just to, like, get a good sense of it. Energy transfer complete. This temple's energy has been restored. Yes. All right. Cool. Finally made some real progress. After I spent five hours looking for that darn last key. So silly. I can't believe I missed it for that long. Give the moths back to their lamp. <laughs> I mean, it's basically the narrative of this game. <laughs> I like that. Alright, first order of business. Let's find a safe spot. Uh, it shouldn't be too far, right? And I guess we're finally going to go back up. Does this take me back to... Uh, okay, that takes me back to Aegon Wastes. That'll take us back to the Temple Grounds. Okay, so we might as well just go all the way back to 
the area with the temple grounds. Which is kind of a straight shot anyway. Ow. Oh, did that actually hurt? Oh wait, no, maybe I was already hurt. Either way, okay, that's fine. Jeez. Why are they so loud? Ah. Freaked me out. Uh, but I'm going to be streaming again starting Friday evening, working on fixing things for my stream. Ah, yeah. Well, hey, I'm excited to, to catch your streams again. Especially if you're playing more retro games. I'll absolutely be there as much as I can. I, it kept being that, like, really weird circumstance of... I think you... Especially with Banjo-Kazooie, which is why it was hard for me to jump in there. Um, I think you'd always start right as I left work. But I'm starting to, to fix my real-life schedule, so I'm, I'm hoping to not leave work at, like, 7 or 8 o'clock every day. I'd like to leave work at a normal time nowadays. Get back to a normal life. What? Why did I do the... I mean, I guess I won't argue about it, but... Wait, is this a dead end? Oh no, that does lead to the tunnel. Okay. I mean, I guess it unlocked the locked doors, which is weird. I don't think it normally does that. Sweet look forward to seeing you there. Yes! <laughs> what is going on? Oh, those are the guys down there, I guess. Don't mind me! Just passing through. Get out of here. Oh! I passed up the save station. Just kidding. So I wonder if I need to go back up and, and hang out with uh, our Luminoth buddy. I wonder if he... Oh no, maybe? I don't know. I guess I could go up there anyway and just talk to him. I feel like that's probably what they want. Ordered some new N64 games today. Need to expand my collection. Ooh. What games did you get? Or, or it could be a surprise. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. But uh, that's exciting. I There's something really satisfying about grabbing new retro games. Surge's Heroes is a childhood classic for the N64. Surge's Heroes. Oh, I think I've played this one. Oh goodness, I never owned it, but I I think I oops I think I rented this at one point from like Blockbuster. Oh, maybe not. I've played. I've have definitely seen this though. They really they really went all in on the Green Army Men aesthetic. <laughs> That's fun. Oh yeah, what's your favorite, for anyone interested, what's your, uh, your favorite space, outer space related media, like movie, game, any of that jazz? Ender's Game series, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Ender's Game also gets real weird after the first book. I, uh, I started reading Ender's Shadow, and I liked that one quite a bit. But I, I never read any of the other ones, but the one that follows Ender, I heard gets really strange. But I still kind of want to read it at some point. Homeworld. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we were literally talking about Homeworld in the last stream yesterday, so I'm not at all surprised by that. THPS, good times, good times. Oh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater and Rayman 2. Oh, man. Should get that too. Oh, sorry. I skipped 
some... Oh, I didn't even realize that you already responded to it. Yeah, Rayman 2. I don't actually think I played that one. My first Rayman game was the 3D one. But Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yeah, I didn't even know that it came out on the N64. I thought that was a PS2 or PS1 game. So that's kind of cool. I think I just skipped the shortcut. Whoops. Where are you at? Am I crazy? Oh, here it is. Wow. That is kind of discreet. I guess that's their method of being like, pay attention to the map. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll just go right up to that elevator. Easy peasy. This game was good. Did not like Xenocide or Children of the, of the Mind. I wonder if Children of the Mind is the one that I, I heard got weird. I did like that series quite a bit. I read Ender's Game when I was in the thick of college, and it it painted a very interesting attitude on me, which I think was legitimately a, a helpful thing for my education. It was kind of kind of interesting. Ender's story after Ender's Game does get really weird. Okay, so maybe that's the one that I'm thinking of. Tony choose Metroid, old Star Wars, old Halo. Ooh, old Halo's good too. It's been way too long since I've booted up classic Halo. I never played the rest of the Halo series either. I always kind of felt like half interested, but always sad that I never kind of like kept the the franchise alive in my life. Okay, so we're going to the right. Dune is really good. I started, I think I bought Dune on my ebook or my Kindle or whatever it is, and uh, I never read it, but I've, I've, that's been on my like must read list for a, a, a while now. What's up, Blue Moss? Okay, he did want me to talk to him. My older brother is lost in the original series of THPS 1 too when he went to school in Idaho. Nice. Speaking of Zone of Enders, it's another cool one. I really want to play Zone of Enders. I, I might have it. We played it back on the YouTube show, but we only played multiplayer mode, so I have no idea what single player was like. Uh, speaking of... Oh, but Ender Shadow explains being... Yeah! Oh, that's right. story yeah yeah ender shadow that that one i was pretty into it was also a little strange but being being had a kind of cool story being in his life such an amazing writing with science fiction yeah i agree with that so it was a real fun vr adaptation i saw that and it looks so awesome i really that's that's definitely one i want to get my hands on because i have an oculus so i have no reason to not pick it up Well, Halo 4 and Halo 5 can be skipped entirely, but 1, 2, 3, ODST, and Reach are must-plays. So I, I played 1 through 3, but I didn't play any of the others. Yeah, I didn't play ODST or Reach, but I, I, I actually did want to play those ones, because they did seem pretty cool. StarCraft as well, sort of space-related. Total Annihilation in Supreme Commander. I, I never played OG StarCraft, but I played the, um, the newer one. And I did have quite a lot of fun with it. I'm just not good at RTS games, usually. Being a genetically modified, super intelligent human. Smarter than Ender, but doesn't really have the leadership abilities like Ender does. Yep, yep, exactly. Which is kind of why it's cool, because it, like, paints a better picture of what made Ender a good leader, but also still makes Bean a really powerful character. Streams sometimes show you. Ooh, I would absolutely be down for watching that. The Temple of Torvis glows with energy once more. Only one temple remains without the light of Aether. <sighs> you must travel to our fortress high in the cliffs. The last temple lies in the fortress. Seek knowledge there before invading the Inghive. Ah. 
be cautious in the fortress. This place was once guarded by machines of our creation, but now they are corrupted slaves of the Ing. They will not see you as a friend. Our goal draws knee ever closer. Let the Light of Aether be your guide. Yeah! Alright. So now we can finally get into that temple. I didn't realize that they wanted to segment it out quite so plainly. I guess I still was sort of in the... Maybe they did kind of do it like that in the first Prime. I thought that the first Prime was not so segmented. Like there was a little bit more bouncing back and forth between zones. And that's kind of why I thought I needed to leave the bog to make progress. But nah, they... They really wanted me to stay in the bog. Well, hopefully I learned my lesson. <laughs> I mean, there's really not a lot left to explore in any of the other spaces, so... Uh, that's how it goes. The movie skips out on so much info that's important. Would have been better as a trilogy or as a, a series, even. I agree with that. That would have made for a great series, like a TV series or a Netflix um, like short series. That would have been awesome. I guess it's never too late. I mean, it, just because it's been made into a movie doesn't mean anyone else can't do their own thing with it. Uh, but anyway, I think I'm going to call the stream here. It's already almost 1230, so I, this stream went way longer than it normally goes. But I wanted to make some real progress, and I felt so bad that I flaunted the last four or five hours trying to figure out how to get that last key. But we did it! We killed the second boss. Now we can continue making real progress in the next stream. So, if if any of you guys are new here, by the way, I do chrono streaming, which means I play a franchise from the very first game it released to the last. So we're doing that with Metroid on Wednesdays and Zelda on Tuesdays. So we'll be back with more Metroid Prime next week on Wednesday. And then on Saturday, we're going to have a mystery stream because it's kind of like a, a birthday thing. So I'm not totally sure what I'll play, but uh, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be fun either way. Thank you so much, Malkari. I'm, I'm glad you had a good time. And I super appreciate you stopping by and hanging out tonight. The problem with sci-fi media being the TV series is hard to do inner monologues. That's true. Hey, thank you so much for following, Classy Lich. I'm glad you had a good time tonight. Yes, he does. Thanks, Felix. <laughs> good stream time, Cop Chief. Thank you, fellow time cops. And until next time, we'll find... Actually, first, I should probably find who I'm going to go through a raid at before I jump into the uh, the farewell screen. So let's see who's on. I'm always shocked at who still streams post-midnight. These folks are crazy. So we've got Yawn Solo playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Yawn's pretty fun. I do quite like him quite a bit. Wix is also playing some Darkest Dungeon. I've been throwing a bunch of raids over to Wix lately, though, so I think we'll do, go hang out with Yon. Oops, that's all caps. Is it beginning? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay, cool. The raid has begun. Pretty sure. Showing up on one of my screen, but not the other. It's real weird. But anyway, thank you so much, guys, for hanging out tonight. And uh, I hope to see you on Saturday. Have a good night, everybody.